Park English Reading Show. I'm going to read you The Horror of Harry and the June Box by Suji Klein. Pictures by Amy Womer. Do you remember I read you chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? Yeah! Now, I'm going to read you the chapter 6. The Mass Challenge. Let's, let's explore this chapter together. The Mass Challenge. For the next 20 minutes, it was very quiet. Everyone was busy adding except Song Lee and Harry. Song Lee was writing a note. Harry was making Santa Claus scribbles that looked like, looked like a troop of silkies marching across this master lawn. This problem is going to take forever, Sydney complained. I messed up three times now. Dexter went. Mrs. Bartholomew heard our jamblings and went to the blackbird. Boys and girls, he said, I want to tell you a story about the famous German man of Madison. His name was John Carr French. Guess, his last name uh, has an all sound as cow. Guess. Teacher got mad at the class and ordered, ordered them to add numbers from 1 to 100. 30 uh, seconds later, much to the surprise of the teacher, Gus arrived at the correct answer. He used a pattern to solve the very problem and you're working on right now. I'm going to show you part of it. A job checking of the plan. Didn't you see it had a yellow disguise? Mary shook her head. No, that's disguise. That's called something like Gula Pumula. Harry answered. Harry answered. Gula Pumula? Oh, please. Mary whispered back. That sounds like the name of a horrible monster. Ida covered her mouth. She didn't want us to hear her laughing. Well, the race is like a monster, Harry said. And now how Song Lee cares about every living thing. She just wanted to check on the plant. She took it off of the June box and take a closer look. Mary groaned. It sounds iffy. A Song Lee would do something like that. Mary gave Harry a smile. You're very brave I take a, take the blame for Song Li. Or dumb, Mary added. Harry just shrugged. Then we passed the open thumbs. Mrs. Borsolayam, Mrs. Borsolayam heavy the garbage sack over her shoulder. Harry closed his eyes. I knew he was a moment of silence for TV man. As soon as they got to the fence and everyone was being shushed, some they passed Harry a note and watched him unfold it. The note was written in neat cursive. Dear Harry, I see bad, tiny not do. I want to have outdoor recess. I'm telling Mrs. Borsolet about Song Ho. Your friend always Song Lee. Harry scuffed the note in his back pocket, started and turned to Song Lee. Hey, he whispered, it's all my fault. It's my fault. I made those stupid noises that got the sub's attention. Harry Pig never would have ended up in the June box if it wasn't for me. He pointed to the dumpster. Do you like the pink pig to end up like TB Man? If you tell the horn truth, that's what will happen. Sure, Yang sung out the June box and tossed him in the garbage. Suddenly looked at the dumpster and cringed. That's not going to, that's not going to happen, she whispered back. Harry stared to say something, but Mrs. Borsolayam 
was pad rolling on the end of the line. Shh! Just a It's a fire drill! No talking! When we got to the room, lots of kids were still grumbling about the hard mask problem. I was moaning too because Harry was going to miss the coolest recess of Slitter's grade. Mary kept raising her mask work and staring over it. Juju were making big sighs. Dexter was tapping his pencil on his desk. Class, she said. That's good to challenge, but I see May you are getting frustrated. So I guess I'm going to have to do what everyone else do these days. Off the reward. The sub held up one finger. If you get the correct answer to the math challenge by one o by one o'clock, you will get a reward of your choice. Oh, Juju raised his head. Yes, Mr. Haddad. What do you mean? You get to choose your reward. Within reason, of course, Mrs. Borsolaeum answered. Everyone sat on and paid attention. If it were me, the sub continued, I would ask for a special trip to the library, check out a new book, and read right there in comfortable, a comfortable chair. That would be, be my reward. Could my reward be extra computer time? Juju asked. Good choice, Mrs. Porcelain replied. Could we use something out of the gym box? Dexter added. Mrs. Porcelain thought about that. That's also tough. Yes, Five of Us exclaimed. It's only Harry or I got the got the answer. We got a spring song. Song who? Dexter could spring bobblehead Elvis. And Sid could get his hand on his yellow canary stickers. Mary and Ida didn't even know what about Song Ho, they thought the paper pig was Harry's. We could do a craft, they exclaimed. Shh, Harry snapped. I need to concentrate on my mask. Mary and Ida and Mary looked surprised. Harry had never shushed them before. Mrs. Porcelain smiled for the first time that day. And that's when I saw. Um, four gold cat teeth. Everyone was working quietly on the math challenge now. Chapter 7 Noontime Recess Later that morning, we had reading and writing, and then the music teacher came. Twenty minutes before lunch, Mrs. Brusselium let the kanji work working on the math challenge. I got it, said it out. Mrs. Borsalayam didn't scowl him for his outburst. She went over to his desk and checked his answer. Nice try, Mrs. LaFleur, she said. Keep working. The subjects, Juju's answer, and Dexter and Mary's too. But they're all wrong. Harry was working so hard on his mask, he was drooling on his paper. And suddenly raised her hand, Mrs. Porcelain rushed over to her. You're so close, she exclaimed. You patent this a little bit different from Gosses, but it will work. Don't give up. Three times later, the bell rang. Buzz! Harry sank down in his chair. I only half done, he complained. It. Okay, boys and girls, Mrs. Porcelain said. Dine up for lunch. Mr. Spooger, you may get your lunchbox and eat at your seat. Can I work on my mask while I eat? Harry asked. Of course, the sub answered. I gave Harry two thumbs up. Maybe he could earn Song Ho back. Was there a line 
at the door for lunch, I noticed only had a masked owner, Paulina or her. After we finished eating, we raced outside for recess. Zuzu, Dexter, and I started up a kickball game with some other kids. Then it was then it was my turn to be to be up. I kicked the ball into the into left field. It bounced all the way to the fence. Mm. All the way around the bases, I saw Mary and Ida turning the roof reset. I didn't see Song Lee. Dexter was waiting for me when I touched home plate. You rock, baby! He shouted when Dex, Juju, and I slapped out their five. Two and Harry's in here, I groaned. Yeah, Dexter agreed. I glanced back at the roof, jump rope. I still didn't see Song Lee. I wonder where she was. I'm getting a quick drink, I said to Juju. She was up next. As I ran to water fountain, I stopped by and asked Mary, Where's Song Lee? Mary was there twirling her, twirling her rope. Song Lee told me she wanted to work on the math problem, but I don't know where she went. Probably a quiet place. A quiet place on the playground? Where was that? I had to get back to my kickball game. to get back to my kickball game. Our team was outfield now, so I raced back to the pitcher's mound. Ten minutes later, the bell rang to go inside. We all headed for the double doors. I passed the dumpster. I spotted two pink tennis shoes with um butterflies sticking out of them behind the dumpster. It was so only. I dashed over to her. She was just getting up. She held her mask on close to her heart. I think I got the mask problem challenge, she whispered. You've been doing math all recess? I asked. She nodded. Whoa, I said. I want that special reward. I walked slowly over to the door. I wanted to keep our conversation private. So you do. You're... Uh, you're getting to, you you're going to get Song Ho back! I exclaimed. Song Lee didn't say another word. Word, she just looked very humble. Chapter eight. Chapter eight. The awesome reward. When we got to room three B, Harry was drooping over his seat. Poop. I could see he had done more math than working than me. His aunt and his aunt on a log and oatmeal cookies were untouched in his lunchbox. I look at his cat, the goo had died. I didn't ask him if he got the answer. I did just by looking at him. Sony immediately went up and took a, su a sovereign notebook. You got it! Mrs. Borsal um, Dayam exclaimed. She shot her hands in, in the air like she was uh, guarding the tallest basketball player. Yahoo! She screamed out and she gave Sony a big hug. Who was this crazy mess lady? We all clapped loudly for, loudly for Song Lee. Song Lee, Mrs. Borsalam said, please do the board and show the class how you got the correct answer. I could tell the sub was in a good mood. She was using Song Lee's first name. Song Lee glanced at the mess drummer, then started to write. Uh, uh, equations. I I paired the numbers a little differently from Gus did, but I started with zero plus one hundred. I made the pairs all equal one hundred. It was easier to odd. 
I found 50 pairs of numbers that the total 100. It equals 5,000 and there was a number left over, 50. So the answer is 5,050. Whoa, I said, that's cool. The coolest, Zuzu agreed. Dexter and Sydney. Dexter and Sydney tried to smile, but they were disappointed they didn't get a reward. When well, suddenly uh, to proceed, Mrs. Sporzel lay and went to the board. But the joy of mass um, con um contest, she said. Look at the answer, 5,050. And... Excuse me. Uh, when suddenly took her seat, Mrs. Porcelain went to the board. But the joy of, of mass... Conquest, she said, look at the answer, 5,050, and she wrote it on the board again. 5,050. Do you do a quirk chop on the answer like this? She, we all watched as the sub hit the blackboard with the side of her hand. You can separate the two fifties and add them up. There. Some uh, is 100, which is the sum of any one of song list pairs. 50, 50 plus 50 equals 100. Lot, lots of us cheered. That was amazing. Now, Song Li, Mrs. Porcel AM said, What special reward did you want? You certainly have earned it. First, I have to tell you the horrible truth, she said. Mrs. Porcelain and were confused. Excuse me, she replied. Oh boy, I thought. Suddenly sat us straight and spoke clearly. I was the one who moved the cactus. I was the one who opened up the June box. A pink origami pig was mine. I made it for Grandma Bong. This were this is her sixteenth birthday. And that is very special in Korea. We took five tries and three hours to make it. Mom was going to marry after school, but I didn't have time to make another one. Henry took the blame for me. He didn't want to pick the end up in the dumpster like, like his TV man. I should have told you all this before. I'm so sorry. Mrs. Sports of Liam tapped their fingers together. It was pen quiet. No one could believe that Song Lee would do something like that. Harry was the first to speak up. But if I happen to make the oink 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 noises, that pink pig uh, wouldn't be in a destruction. Uh, it was, was my fault, Mrs. Porcelain. I am not Song Lee's. So, you want the. You took the pig, Song Lee? Mrs. Orsolam asked. Yes, she replied. The saw walked to her desk and removed the cactus plant. She opened up the June box and held up a pink paper pig. What is this then? She asked. The one of the pigs I poached up. Zhang Li explained. I switched pigs to that. So that's what she had in her hand, I thought. I desperately clapped for Song Lee under her desk. Dexter and Sydney had their mouths wide open. Song Lee punched, uh, Harry punched the air. Mary turned around and glared at Harry. Guvula Mula! She said in dis disgust. Mrs. Borsalea rolled her eyes. Well, she sighed, it's never too late to, to tell the truth. I'm so glad you did, Song Lee and Harry. Uh, had I known that pig was a special birthday present, and you were just showing it to Harry, I would have simply asked you to put it away. And Harry, you would have just asked you to stop making silly noises. 
that Mrs. Porcelain added. I remember now that Harry was trying to tell me uh, something about that pig, and I wasn't in the mood to listen. So I could have handled things better too. And I would have have known my song Lee Silf said this morning. The song needs to get a special reward? Dexter, as Juju asked. She saw the mass challenge. I hope you can I hope I can my pick Song Lee request, holding up the box she was keeping Song Ho in. Mrs. Borsley and smiled. I want to keep your pig. I'm so glad you told the truth and apologized. I would had I would say we had a huge imagination this morning. I delighted the truth mm, I delighted the truth cleared up cleared it all up. And and that doesn't count as your reward for your wonderful math child math work. Is there something else you would like? Song lays out about it. Then whispered something in the sub's ear. When Mrs. Porcelain and Nadia yeah, suddenly got the, got, a, got out of her seat and walked up to the teacher's desk. What she was going to do, I wondered. She opened up the June box, took something out, and held it up. Radio Man! Harry's eyes popped out of his socks. Suddenly walked over to his desk and handed it to him. This is for you, Harry, she said, placing it to... Palms, thank you for being my friend. Harry stared at this complaint in general. It was a large dirty eraser with two gold buttons, nails and paper clip antennas. It broke two broken brown crayons were his legs. I'm bringing you home, radio man, he said. What an awesome reward. Then he kissed each of the eight um, eagle buttons. Thanks, Song Lee. You're the best. Song Lee beamed. Very um, concute to frown at Harry. Govula mula, she mumbled. Harry just flashed a toothy smile. The end. This is Danny Park English Reading Show. I read you the horrible Harry and the June box. If you want to watch more of my videos, and read the more horrible Harry story with me, you have to search my show on the YouTube like this. D-E-N-N-Y English Show. Danny English Show. And if you want to watch more horrible Harry, you have to search Danny Park English Reading Show. Horrible Harry Mm, horrible Harry and that come out of my video and you can watch it you can watch it uh see you later bye bye